Cheese tacos, y'all, with pico, pico de gallo on top. Yummy, delicious on a hard shell taco. Tell me, have y'all ever heard of that before? I haven't seen it. Yummers. And we're drinking an orange tangerine flavored water. I literally cannot wait, y'all. My mouth is watering. Ooh. What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already see it. I am ready, y'all. We are drinking a orange tangerine flavored water today. Ah, uh, yes, y'all. Mm -hmm, mm. Absolutely. Let's pray. Amen, y'all. I'm so ready to do this. Who is ready for this mother flipping mug bang? Bacon, egg, and cheese. Crispy tacos. Have you ever heard of it? I have it. Let's do some of our delicious Chipotle Tabasco. And I'm going to be using this. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Some syrup. Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm. That bacon and eggs, oh my God. Everything is blessing. Mmm. That pig go. Pick up the guy, Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. It's cheesy eggs. Mmm. This is my first time making it like this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Delicious. I'm making it a mess. <laughs> That bacon is so good on here, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Like, <laughs> delicious. Mmm. 
Happy Talk on Tuesday. <laughs> I don't think I said that. <laughs> mm. I like it better with this instead of the syrup. But I did want to try it, so I did. And no, it's not a yes for me. Mm. Mm. Eating. Girl. Mm -mm -mm. Girl, I think it's the eggs. I'm kind of getting full. I'm only eating two. Not even the whole two yet. In the comments, I want to know if anybody's ever had moths in their pantry. When I tell you, this is the first time that we've ever had any type of moths in our pantry. Yeah, we we set off a bomb yesterday, though, and it seemed like it killed them, except for a couple stragglers. But, y'all... Before, it, it was like we had an infestation. And I looked it up on the internet, on TikTok, and there's so many people that's having the same freaking problem. And they're just trying to find a solution. Um, Yeah, y'all. First, it was the freaking ass. Got rid of those. Except for a couple of stragglers. Um, And then it was a dag on me. Um, moths. I, I don't know what they're called. Y'all let me know what they're called and let me know have you ever had them in your pantry. It was just like they came out of nowhere so I researched it and they said that um, more than likely it came from the grocery store y'all. Already infested like I, in rice pasta. They love rice pasta um, cereals anything that is processed and in a box they'll go there and breed y'all i was like what i had no clue about any of it only thing we've ever had is these daggone me gnats oh let me put this freaking hot sauce up this one straggler gnat is trying to get to the hot sauce so annoying anyway so, yeah, y'all, we have been having a time. We didn't know what the frick to do. So, I had got on the internet and was just looking stuff up, y'all. Anyway, the bomb that I bought is for those types of mobs. And it's for a whole lot of other stuff, too. Gnats, um, flies, um, what else? I think roaches. I'm not sure. But it's for a host of uh, bugs, flying bugs. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, I got some pico on my table. Mmm. <laughs> but yeah, um, a lot of people was having a really, really hard time getting rid of them. And I was determined, honey. Like, determined. I'm not about to have moths in my pantry like are you kidding me so we had to take everything out of the pantry everything and we found two excuse me infestations y'all and one of them was in rice and the other one oh my 
my god what was the other one uh i believe it was a a pasta i can't really remember honestly y'all but girl when i saw that i was like what in the actual hell is this yo like watch out and they say don't keep your uh rice and your pasta like in the like the container that it came in uh put it in like a glass container so we gotta freaking buy glass containers for all of this stuff y'all because like i just don't want it to happen again oh anyway if you've had them let me know how you got rid of them and how you maintain you know what i'm saying not having them anymore please let me know girl Mm. Just to think that it was already, you know what I'm saying, in my groceries. Like, it's just, ugh, de freaking disgusting. So are y'all proud of me? <laughs> y'all, I am filming this video so early. Today is ridiculous. Like, it's still daytime outside. Mmm, y'all. My, um, tomato plant bloomed some flowers today i was like what and guess what there's no bees to be found like none i'm like where did these bees come from last time because they usually they used to live in my yard like they used to live there and I, now i just don't know where they are what happened are y'all having the same problem with the no bees thing i need bees I didn't know where I'm asking for bees. Mmm. Mmm. And I know I can self pollinate, but I don't want to do that. I want the bees to do their job. Cause that ain't supposed to be my job. <laughs> but y'all know what I mean. Um. Mm. Y'all. Oh my God. I am so full. Surely not getting to that last taco. Mmm. Y'all, so yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Girl, I cannot stuff myself, honey. I can't do it. That was delicious, though. Happy Mother Flipping Taco Tuesday. Y'all. Did y'all hear what Howard University gave to our freaking president or how he was honored, y'all? I guess because he came and spoke at the university. Like, what? At Howard, a HBCU, y'all. I couldn't believe it. And I, it's just, it's just like, are you kidding me? Um. Now, I 
know I saved that freaking video. I know I did. Hold up. Girl. I cannot believe I did not save that video. Are you kidding me? Girl, I gotta I got show y'all this. <laughs> Howard University honors the president. I can't even say it right, y'all heard that? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, was it Morehouse? Oh, it was one of these HBCUs, y'all, that honored the president and gave him a, a honorary, uh, is this it? No, that's 2022. It was Howard. I know it was Howard. President Biden receives honor. Here you go, right here. Girl. President Biden receives honorary degree from Howard University. An honorary degree. Then I heard another um, organization, I don't know what campus, but the Sigmas, y'all, made uh, Clinton an honorary member of their organization, of the Sigma organization, y'all. President Clinton. Like when, when, when did that start? Like, and, and, and what did, the, what did any of these colleges make? Um, so what did Barack Obama get? Did he get anything honorary y'all? Let me know in the comments because I don't remember him getting anything honorary. Or is this a thing that presidents are, are you know, picked for honorary positions that they did not earn let me know in the comment like this is it's just weird to me it really is um yeah especially for <laughs> biden to be an honorary like a doctorate like y'all i literally cannot i, I just oh, can not anyway Let's see. What guess what I started watching today, y'all? Y'all are gonna really kill me, okay? Baddies Caribbean. Y'all, there was so many twists and turns with this. Um, they were bringing back like the old cast members and um, bringing in some new cast members. Also, y'all, that show is even more crazy than what it was before. I am literally shocked. Like. I mean, the fights are just out of control. And I do mean out of control. I'm just like, wow. And it's like, um, Natalie can't even control folks. She can't even control folks. And, um, like, almost all the same people, it, they're back except for um, Smiley. Of course, y'all know she, they weren't going to let her back. Um, but, yeah, it is out of control. There's this one girl, though, y'all, that really stands out. I forgot her freaking name. But, anyway, she is Puerto Rican, and she's saying the N-word on the show, okay? And Jayla, she's back on the show, y'all. And Jayla is not having it. Jayla was like, you are not, I don't care what you are. You're not going to say the N-word if you ain't black. Y'all, please let me know in the comments how y'all feel about that. Um... Because this girl, she's a really, really, she, this, well, she said that she got black in her, but she looks like a straight up, really super duper light skinned Spanish girl. That's what she looks like. And she said, she's from New York, and she says that they talk like that all the time. Um, she doesn't care, you know, who doesn't want to hear it, because all of the black people in the room was like no you cannot say that you know and she just stood on business she was like she doesn't care but she's gonna say it anyway because that's how she grew up and she said whenever she gets mad she says that word and she's like that she didn't doesn't mean it in a, a racist way y'all aubrey is on the freaking show from danity kane aubrey is just sitting in the back like and we have a racist on the show oh we need to get her off of here you know and I'm like, anyway um, but when I tell you that she was trying to stand on business, but <laughs> all the girls were like, 
Oh no. And, and the girl kept saying it, y'all. She kept saying it. Like, I mean, you could tell she says it in her regular life. Like, you could tell as many times as she was saying it. She was like, um, first she wasn't gonna say it, and then she it slipped and she did it again. Y'all, so they jumped her, y'all. And they said, if you keep saying, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep, and they kept doing it, y'all. And she just wouldn't stop. And I'm at the third episode right now. And it is a mess, y'all. But I ain't even going to lie to you. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> I'm going to watch it, honey, because my other show ain't on yet. Um, Not Married at First Sight. Y'all know which one I love. Love it, love it first sight. Or... Y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, that show that we're waiting on the next season to come. I think it's season seven. Anyway, um, oh y'all, I'm full. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just the whole y'all. The show is just is cool. Crazy. Um, did y'all see Roly? Roly looks good. She does. And there's nothing that she can do about her legs, y'all. Like, people talk about the way she be walking. It is hilarious. I'm not even gonna lie. But she can't do nothing about that. But I think, like, she has really leveled up. You could tell she has some money. Like, I love it when you can see somebody level up. You know what I'm saying? Through, you know, how they fix themselves up and how they dress or whatever. I just love to see the glow up. Because from what Roly came from, y'all, do y'all remember what Roly used to look like? Girl, she was a little rough around the edges. She was. Um, but now, honey, she had on a cute wig with some bangs. Like, I like that hairstyle on her. She looked really pretty. In my opinion, her teeth look good. Her body looks good, too. You know? They did a lot with Rolly. But I'm thinking, like, did she, like, do, like, some weight loss surgery? Or did she take, like, Monjero or something? Some type of weight loss. Because I just know that they didn't do all of that with just surgery. You know what I'm saying? Because she, she was obese. Was she not? She was obese. And now she, I mean... Is she still obese or is she just uh, plus size? I think she's plus size now, y'all. I think she's plus. Point is, she looks really good, okay? And my girl, um, Biggie, is on the show, y'all. You know what? And I think I said this before. Biggie, I don't know why she needs the approval and the support of Natalie so bad, but she does, y'all. And it's like Natalie just does not care. Like, she does not care, you know? And I, I feel like, and I feel this through uh, Biggie, that she really cares about Natalie. She cares about what Natalie thinks. She cares about being in her presence, just period. That's how I feel. Um, and I just don't like the way Natalie be doing her. Like, she still be doing her bad. She still be doing her bad. She, why was she not on the private jet with them? Why Why wasn't Biggie on there with them? I feel like Biggie is, like, a really important part of that show. She has a lot of fans. Everybody loves her. I don't know anybody that don't like Biggie. You know, she cool as I don't know what. Um, and... I don't know. Why wasn't she on the uh, private jet with them? Why um, uh, is somebody able to say that she can't be in the house with them? Biggie should be in that house with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, she adds a lot to the show. She shouldn't be in the house with the new girls. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But anyway. Yeah, y'all. I'm still watching it, though. Um... And let's see, y'all. Okay, so came across this video on TikTok, and this is what was said. Would you tolerate cheating from me? Of course. This guy said, "Let's just say if we were together, would you tolerate cheating from me?" And she says, "Of course." Listen to her reasoning as to why, y'all. I have never heard a woman 
speak like this ever. And I'm pretty sure she got a lot of guys behind her with what she just said. But listen to this. I, I was shocked. I would. Now, why is that? Um, because men biologically cheat. Because you can go sleep with a girl right now and it's just pleasure. For example, we're surrounded right now by a shit ton of amazing clubs. You can walk into the club right now, get super drunk, and just have a one-night stand. But you're this still coming her. home to me, sleeping with me, providing for me, and doing everything you're supposed to. It's just biologically made the men are gonna go ahead and cheat because it's just pleasure you know what i mean it's status basically when men cheat but when women cheat it's disrespect because when we cheat it's a connection like we cheat with attention we cheat with emotions you not guys everybody. don't cheat with emotions we do so i don't think a man should stay with a woman that cheats on her no why wouldn't you feel insecure by finding out that I, you know, was blowing on all the chicks back out. Oh, as women, you're meant to be feminine and protective of the home and stay with your partner and take care of the kids. So if you're providing for me and doing everything you're supposed to, I will definitely tolerate cheating. But if it's a 50-50 relationship, it's like I'm your roommate. Why why are you like down making me downfall? Like that's not that's not cool. I said we were together. What do y'all think about that? Do y'all agree? Like I literally totally disagree. Like you are asking for like you're I feel like if you deal with something like that, you're asking for a lot of drama in your life. Like who would I guess she would, but who would deal with a man cheating? Like you're making yourself susceptible how do you say it? Susceptible to all kinds of diseases. Cause <laughs> if you let a man run wild, he's going to be the wildest. Okay? He's gonna be like, yes. <laughs> I get to do this? Let me do it to the best of my ability. You think he's going to, you know what I'm saying, wear protection? No. Of course not. I wonder how she would feel if um, he went and had a baby on her. You know what I'm saying? Like, kept having babies. Like, would you like that too, girl? That is great. Like, I literally, I cannot believe she even said that. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Like, and what do y'all do you believe um, what she said about men men and how they are, like, naturally? Like, they're naturally supposed to do stuff like that? Let me know in the comments, y'all. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Okay. What's this? And I get paid less. Oh. Okay, so this is going pretty viral. Fanita. Do y'all know Fanita? Fanita is a famous TikToker. Um, and she basically made a video. She was clapping back at somebody, y'all. And she's basically saying how she is with an agency and her manager manages a bunch of, um, like big TikTokers that have a large following. And she was just saying, basically, she was comparing herself to, um, some of the other people on, um, this management team, Okay. Basically saying that she has a bigger following, more engagement, and uh, but she gets paid less than these white girls. And that's what she said. She said white girls because that's what she, you know, she's on a, in a, a modeling, um, a modeling, oh my God, a management agency, um, I guess with a bunch of, of white girls. And... She says she gets paid less than all of them, and she has a bigger platform, more engagement, all of that, right? So it's like starting a conversation on TikTok because um, this really isn't nothing new, okay? It really isn't nothing new. Um, these companies, they'll contact, you know, um somebody black for a sponsorship or whatever and they will want they want you to do it for free or they want you to do it for a little tiny bit of money y'all so anyway somebody else made a video and they were like um yeah so this company had contacted me and said that they wanted me to do this that and this right for a hundred and twenty five dollars okay then he found out that one of his colleagues Got paid, uh, I think like 12600 or something like that, y'all. He got paid $125 and they got paid 12000 okay? And it's, honestly, y'all, 
it, 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 it's not surprising because it happens all the time. They literally would say, um, can you uh, do this video uh, in, in exchange for this product or whatever? Like, you can't go and buy your own product. Let's just say it's a wig, honey, because plenty of people have tried to contact me and ask me to do work for free, okay? Especially with wigs. And I'm just like, absolutely not. I'm not doing nothing for free. Okay, um, you got to pay me. Uh, I can go and buy my own wig. Like, I got a million freaking wigs. I'm not in need of a wig, okay? So you got to pay me for my work. I don't I don't know if they don't understand that we do the same work as everybody else do. Why y'all trying to pay them more than us? It's, it's not fair, right? And so, um, yeah, this is the thing with the black creators, um, you know, that you, it, it's a thing, y'all. Okay, they they feel like we're not worth them spending that kind of money. That's how they feel. And literally, somebody was actually told that from a company that they didn't feel. They literally said it, y'all. And it's, it was an Asian company. They were like, "We don't feel like you're worth that kind of money." Okay, well then you need to contact somebody else. Then why are you over here? If you think that I'm not worth anything, why are you contacting me? Like, why? Somebody actually had told me that, too. It was for a, a, a TikTok collaboration. And they were like, um, uh, you, uh, what did he say? He said, you, basically, basically, I'm not worth what I was asking for. I said, well, contact somebody else then. And I left it right there, honey. I'm not going back and forth with you. I'm not doing none of that. There was a reason why you contacted me. Because I know why. Because you saw me go viral. That's why. You saw me go viral, and you know that I can sell stuff on my platform. You already know it. And so, um, yeah, y'all. The thing is, though, is that black creators have got to stop doing stuff for free. You got to stop doing it. Like, if you keep doing stuff for free, they're never going to pay any of us. If, if we keep doing things for free. And I ain't going to lie. Like, back in the day, I used to do stuff for free. And sometimes, even now, sometimes I do certain things for free. But, girl, if uh, churches is contacting me, asking me to do a spot, you think that they're not going to pay me? Yes, they're going to pay. I'm not doing it for free. I'm not. I will not be doing it for free. But that that is, that is definitely a problem. And, and, and they do it because... They know that they can, okay? Because it's a lot of black creators that are doing this stuff for free because, you know, maybe because they're just excited that they're getting a sponsorship because that used to be my reason. I was excited for getting a sponsorship, but you just cannot, and I don't care how uh, small your platform is, you can sell the same amount of stuff as somebody with a big platform let's just say you have a thousand followers what if 800 of your followers bought something you know that's why you still have to charge it doesn't matter how small your channel is or your platform period still charge okay um and if you don't know how much to charge well then ask around you know ask around people some people will tell you um but yeah, so Fanita, she was feeling a certain way, so she made a video and she's talking about it. She's talking about it, and I'm glad she made a video talking about it, um, because now it's it's starting to be a conversation, and hopefully, you know, people in my community would start to get it and start to charge these people. You know what I mean? So yeah, I was proud of Fanita for making that video. Uh, also, y'all, this was just so sad to me. There's this young man, he made a video on TikTok, and he had just went through a breakup, right, with his girlfriend. And he was basically saying that um, she said that he she was attracted to him mentally and all this stuff here, but she was, wasn't physically attracted to him. Girl, how was you in a relationship with him? I don't know how long they was in a relationship, but how were you even in a relationship at all if you're not even attracted to you know what i'm saying you're not even attracted to the person so anyway he gets online saying can y'all please like he was very vulnerable y'all and i just couldn't believe it it was kind of sad it made me sad 
he was like, can't, th let me let y'all hear. Okay, so at the risk of humiliating myself on the internet, I'm just going to ask this question and put myself out there. So last night I got dumped, which is fine. We had a cool run. I'm grateful for what happened. I'm not here to seek sympathy for that. But when we broke up, verbatim, it went exactly the same as my last two, which is them essentially telling me that everything is going really well. I have treated them incredibly. I'm very emotionally available. Communication is great. Uh, we get along great. Dates have been fun. They're very mentally attracted to me, and they have no doubt I would be a good partner, but the catch is that they are not physically attracted to me. And then um, both times I've asked, well, what is it that you're not attracted to? Because if there's something glaring that I need to address, then like I should definitely want to be aware of that. Like, right. Do I have bad breath? Do I need to... Do I need to lose more weight? And they said, no, like they can't put a finger on it. Um, it's more of a vibe thing. So I come here today more, more as of a, a last vibe. This has just been a pattern where I haven't really gotten a clear answer. And the internet is brutally honest. So I just want to know what am I doing wrong? Is there something about myself physically that I need to address? Or is there, um, is this more of an emotional thing? And it, is this something that like no one has the heart to tell me that I'm just not aware of right now? I'm, yeah, I'm not here to seek sympathy. I just really, like, genuinely want to know, like, what, what am I doing wrong, or is, is this, is there something like I need to consider, like, about myself? Is that not freaking sad, y'all? Like, oh my God! Now people are telling him, you know, that he needs to probably go get a haircut and, you know, just different things. But a lot of people are saying maybe you just didn't pick the right person. You know, and that's probably it. Like, he shouldn't have to go and do a whole life change um, because somebody didn't find him physically attractive. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's not going to find you attractive. Everybody isn't going to be for you. But there is somebody for you. You just have to find that person. Everybody's not going to think that you look good. You know, you may think you look good, but everybody's not going to think that you look good. And he just needs to move on and forget those past relationships. Just forget. You know what I'm saying? Like, people talking about his hair, but it doesn't even look like he combed it. Like, you know, this is this might not even be his best. People were saying that he need to, you know, grow out a beard or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I feel like he just didn't pick the right person. That's what that is. He didn't pick the right person. And it's just sad that he is asking for people to basically critique him and tell him what is wrong with him physically. You know? So, you know, a couple people are trying to help him. Somebody says, um, you're handsome. You dress well. You speak pretty well. I think it's them, homeboy. It's an insane thing to say during a breakup. Exactly. Like, What? That is your reasoning. I wouldn't even have told him that. Like, you know? Like, that just probably... If he wasn't insecure before, like, he's probably insecure now. About, like, what is it? Like, they wouldn't even tell him what it was. They just said physically. And I'm thinking it might be in the bed, y'all. And maybe they didn't want to tell him that. I just thought of that. You know? Because they probably think he's so nice and they don't want to hurt him in that way. Because that's kind of, you know, for you to, you only tell somebody, you know, if they is not that big. Uh, you only tell people that, like, when you're pissed off. Like, when you're pissed, it ain't no coming back. You know what I'm saying? Then you start talking about that. But they probably didn't want to tell him that because that would hurt a man's ego, like, real bad. Like, real bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I'm thinking that might be what it is. When they say, I'm not attracted to you physically. Maybe they tried. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning. But it was just like, oh, no. I can't do this. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. But I'm just, that's what I'm thinking. That, that they didn't want to tell him. Because he says it's been a couple of his past relationships. It's probably that. What do y'all, like, it's probably that. If that's the the reason why everybody is breaking up with you, saying that it's, it's a physical type of thing. You know what I'm saying? That's probably what it is. Um, Let's see. What else, y'all? What else? What else? So What's imagine this? you've been training for a marathon for weeks or months. Oh, girl. Um, 
That wasn't that serious. What is this? Um. Wait, we're helping you. Hold up. Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all what TikTok is doing. I got to make my video today, honey. Why? Okay, so people are getting together. It's like a, a paying off each other's debt, like a uh, challenge type of thing going on, y'all. So basically, this is what people are doing. They're making a video and they're like, um, you know, I want to join the paying off your debt, you know, train or whatever, you know. So basically, um, if you come across somebody's video, you watch the video, you like it, um, you share it if you want to, you comment. Basically, this is um, this is going to, you know, run their numbers up. It's going to run their numbers up and you may make a bag off of one video. Trust me, I've done it on TikTok, y'all, off of one video, okay? So, basically, people are like, um, you know, I need to pay off, like me, I need to pay off my student loans, you know what I'm saying? They've come down a little bit since I've been paying them a little bit, but um, that would be what I would want to do. I would want to um, pay off my student loans. I want to get our own house you know what i'm saying stuff like that that's what people are making videos for or you know i want to uh i don't know um build a house or you know just all these expensive things so basically all you have to do to help these people out is to watch their video for the entire time or just five seconds um and interact with the video and if everybody is doing that for everybody who has made one of these videos, y'all, can you imagine? Pe people can be paying off their debt. Like, and whoever thought of this was a freaking genius, y'all. A genius, okay? So anyway, like I said, oh, I'm making my video today, honey. And hopefully it goes viral like all these other videos are going viral. Um... But yeah, I, I think that is amazing. <laughs> y'all let me know. Did y'all hear about that? Like, it's like, that is literally going viral right now on TikTok. And I just, I don't know. I think it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Because a lot of people with debt. A lot. And it's a lot of people who need to pay off their student loans that didn't get um forget, forgiven. You know what I'm saying? When everybody else was getting theirs forgiven. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of them. I thought mine was going to get forgiven, but no. It did not. But uh, let me see what else, y'all. What else is going on? Oh, y'all. For my Florida people, let me know. Have y'all even heard of this? It says that uh, Florida passed a new law. If you sexually target a 12-year-old or younger, you are getting um, the an automatic death penalty. Can y'all believe I know that'll stop people from doing crazy stuff, huh? Do y'all agree with that? Let me know in the comments. Like, let me know, because I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know if, you know, other places, you know, if other states are going to do that or not. I don't know. But do y'all think that that is a good idea? It probably is a good idea. Okay? It probably, I think it is. Automatic death penalty, y'all. 12 and younger in the state of Florida. I swear, it seems like Florida is like their own type of like government or something. Is that what is going on over there? Because it seems like Mr. DeSantis does what he wants to do. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. Like he literally, he's making laws. Like I thought you had to pass these laws through like a certain chain. Like it just seems like he's making up his own and you know, Florida is doing whatever they want to do. Like, what is going on here? What is going on? Anyway, y'all, let me read y'all's comments. Let's see what is zoo. Y'all, my off day yesterday was so amazing. Like, it was literally the best. Like, I needed that off day, y'all. I be looking forward to my off days, like, for real. I really do. And I actually, I was thinking about working yesterday, and I was like, mm-mm. I need my off day. Like, it is very important for me to have my off day. Um, okay. Let's get it. We're going to read the last comments, y'all. We're going to read from the last video. 
Okay, Dara R3431 says, yummy. Hey, girl. You should boil some water and half a container of cayenne pepper. Let it cool and transfer it into a spray bottle. Okay, I heard that before. Spray your plants with it. I spray, I'm sorry. Spray your plants with that. It really does work and it's organic. Okay. Okay. You know, now y'all know I tried cayenne pepper last um uh, when I when I had my garden the last time, right? Last season. And it absolutely did nothing. Like nothing. Now, that time I just um put the cayenne pepper like on top of the dirt. That's how I did that. But I'm gonna try it your way. I'm gonna try it your way and see if that works. Um thank you, sis. Um user XR5004 ZZ7B says, I tried that concoction of the baking soda, uh, distilled vinegar, and Dawn dish detergent, and hot water. I even put some in the commode. Oh, I didn't even think of doing that. Lifted the top of the commode and put it in there. Works great. Works great. I thought you was about to say that it didn't work for you. Thank you, Yummy. Shout me out. Lynetta Robertson. Shout out to Lynetta. Hey, girl. I'm so glad it worked for you. I thought you were building up to, and girl, it didn't even work. <laughs> Cause I'm like, baby, it worked for me, honey. Okay, so user WN1, I'm sorry, user WN1LKALO6S says, how about a croissant burger? Uh, sounds good to me. <laughs> But I still don't know when are we when are we cheating? Are we cheating on Friday or Saturday? Let me know in the comments, y'all. Friday or Saturday, and what are we what are we gonna be eating? I need suggestions, y'all. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna take your suggestions, but I need suggestions just to pick from. You know what I mean? Girly girl in ninety five sends hearts and smiley faces. Thank you, girl. Um, Lashawn nineteen oh one says yummy bites. Hey, girl. Um. Let's see. Baloney? <laughs> Baloney sandwich 4973 says caterpillars turn into butterflies. Look up what plants butterflies are attracted to. Hmm. Thank you. Um, user ZP2CO5KF. 3T says, I just bought a box at Walmart and three or four days ago, I haven't used it yet. I got the Yogi Green Tea Kombucha. These people get on my nerves. These recalls and we have a high versus, a high versus here in Kansas. I didn't get the cheese though. Thanks for letting me know, yum. Oh, you're welcome. I'm gonna call the grocery store and see if I can, if I have a recall on my tea. Yes, girl, make sure, make sure. Um, Susan Phillips 7273 says, a porterhouse is a larger cut of a T-bone. It's a filet on one side of the bone and a New York strip on, oh, that's a New York strip. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you so much for that information, I appreciate you. Um, Gwen Holcomb 9705 says, medium well for me. A good ribeye bone in for starters. Yummy. Girl, I know that's right. I love a steak with a bone. Like, I have to have a bone in my steak because it's so good to me. Um, Rose Miles 865 says, happy Sunday, Christy. Thank you. Happy Sunday to you too, even though it's, it's past. Enjoy your day. Looks delicious. And you look great also. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, sis. Thank you so much. Um, Pamela Moore 7139 says, happy blessed Sunday, yummy. Thank you so much. Um, the Real Netta sends fire emojis. Thank you, The Real Netta. Uh, Deborah Cooper 4184 says, hey, yummy, hey, sis. Um, Slither D's, LOL, says, hey, yummy, hey, girl. I'm making some fried cabbage right now. I use some of that chicken bouillon seasoning, girl, what I told you, what I told you. I never thought to use 
the bag coleslaw. I ran and got a bag as soon as I seen your vlog. Very smart idea. Thanks. Yes, girl. Oh, I love it when y'all try what I do and y'all just love it. Like, I absolutely live for that. I really do. Um, Katina's girl, if y'all only knew how I was just about to say this. Y'all would have been like, Christy. Uh, Katina C73 says, yummy. That steak looks delicious. I have been watching for a very long time. Thank you, sis. I appreciate y'all. Um, let's see. Destiny Mills 2279 says, hey, yummy girl. Hey, sis. That steak looking so good, honey. And that cheese pull on that mac? girl okay when i tell y'all that is the best macaroni and cheese that i have ever tasted the one that i make it is it is perfection i want one of y'all to try it with the same cheeses and y'all let me know how y'all like it like i really want one of y'all to try my mac and cheese um and she says um omg i'm in love i know that's right girl but ofc means of course Thank you, girl. Ah, that's funny. Uh, but that girl throwing them ashes is so insane. Like, how can you even have the audacity to even do some foul shit like that? Exactly. Girl, she, you already know what she need. I ain't gonna say it, but you know what she need. Okay. Um, She's definitely gonna reap what she sow. She sure is. Like, there's no way I could do that to somebody deceased baby. And Diddy is going down. He is such an evil man and he thinks money can hide it. And that weak ass apology he gave, he could have kept it honestly. We see right through the BS. I just wanted to say you're literally my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. I live. Which said I no, she meant to say I love your videos so much. You have so much personality and you brighten my days. Thank you so much, Yummy. Thank you, girl. Thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all so much. I really do. Um, and I'm glad that I could do something for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever it is, entertain y'all, make y'all happy. Anything, I'm I'm happy to do it, honestly. Um, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, You inspire all of us, girl. You are awesome, Christy. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. That is so sweet. Thank you, Kathy. And she also says, Yummy, I can't believe the actions of some of the young ones. Really? I'm sorry, but she needs to be arrested for that. I heard that she can get arrested. That's what I heard. I, I'm not real sure, but I somebody was saying in, in the comments of, of uh, one of the videos, I think that that should be an arrestable offense, honestly. Okay. Um, crazy disrespectful B. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> that's what I was saying in my head, girl. Like, how freaking dare you? Um, Natasha J's World Overcomers 266 says, Cheats says should be once a month or every other month because they will become a, a habit. Oh, okay, she said cheat days. Okay. Um, cheat days should be once a month or every other month because they will become a habit in my opinion. I was thinking the same thing, but I was just asking y'all to see, you know what I'm saying? Um, because honestly, y'all, I, I feel like some of the meals that I do that are keto are kind of like cheat meals. They're not the healthiest, you know what I'm saying? And I think that she's right, y'all. I think she's right about not doing it once a week because I have really been struggling with the once a week. I really have because at first I was like, you know, once a month, that would probably, you know, be better than once a week. I don't know. I still don't know, y'all. I really don't. I haven't made up my mind yet. I don't know. But thank you, Natasha, for giving me your input. Um, Queen B Jones 8404 says, Meg been on tour with Glow. Oh, girl, I didn't know. 
I did not know, honey. I didn't know anything until I seen a video on TikTok. I hadn't heard no announcement, nothing about her going on tour. And I didn't even know it was with Glorilla. Didn't even know it was with Glorilla. Um, I saw that they um, invited, uh, oh my God, what is her name, y'all? The young lady that plays basketball, um, that's in the WNBA now. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Glorilla brought her up on stage, and I just thought that was so player. I loved it. Absolutely love it. And she's doing really, really good as a rookie in the um, WNBA. So proud of her, even though I'm forgetting her freaking name. Angel, Angel Reese, her. Angel Reese. So proud of her. She is doing amazing. Um, Pauline Campbell 5349 says happy Sunday happy Sunday to you too food looks delish gotta try that pasta and your recipe it looks so good thank you girl it was honey <laughs> um, a brilliant blessed mess 3677 says yummy we need another live soon I, I was literally just thinking about that yesterday I'm like I need to go live again and I will really soon Really soon. And she also says, ribeye is my favorite steak cut. I got to have it well done. The meal looks so yummy, sis. And so do you. Oh, so you have to have yours well done. Girl, I know people be talking about you, don't they? They be talking about you on your uh, steak well Because I used to want mine well done, too. I'm like, I don't want to see no pink. But when I had a steak that was medium well Oh, it was so juicy and delicious. Now, I can't have nothing more than that. Like, I can't do a medium steak. It has to be medium. Well, I got to have some well up in there, girl. Like, I need some well, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, Joyce Mac TR6CM says, hey, yummy. Hey, sis. Food looks delicious. Thank you, sis. Um... Patricia Greer 282 says, hey, yummy. Hey, sis. The food looks delicious. You look pretty as always, with or without makeup and wigs. Thank you, girl. I always compliment another queen. I like ribeye steak, medium rare. You shouldn't make a breakfast. No, you should make a breakfast croissant. Keep up the good work. Thank you, girl. That sounds so good. Oh, my God. A breakfast croissant. I used to love those. Mm. Doris McNeely says, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you, too. Everything looks delicious. Thank you, sis. Uh, it's Nessa 468 says, I think they signed an NDA, I think. But, yummy, you look amazing. And, as always, what a great video. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Um, Joanna Aguilar 4961 says, how do you unalive the caterpillars from eating your plants? You have to spray stuff on them, girl, or pick them up out of there and just go unalive them somewhere, you know? Um, but you're supposed to use, like, sprays and, like, you know, or just Google something on the Internet that's natural, like what she just told me, and do it that way, but... Patricia6041 says, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you too, sis. Dara R3431 says, yummy. You should boil some water and have a container. Oh, no. I already read that. I'm sorry. Dara R3431 says, hey, yummy. Hey, sis. I prefer bone-in ribeye. Cooked medium well with plenty of grilled onions and mushroom. Oh, Yum. And then she says, yummers. I know that's right, sis. That sounds good to me. Um, My peach, my, what did I say? My peach prod says, hero bread has low-carb croissant. Okay, okay. You told me that last time. Hero bread has uh, low-carb croissants. Okay, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Nicole1213 says, soul food or roast potatoes and Carrots, yum, sound good to me. Nikki Loves Love said, Diddy and Cassie has already settled on that. 
okay? She also says, cheating isn't worth it. I need to exercise. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and she also says, don't cheat. What? Don't cheat, sis. If so, just once a... Oh, because I'm like, what is her... She says just once a month or every, or once every two months. See, I felt like cheating once a month would um would be good. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like once a week. Because I don't know. To me, that feels like a lot. To me, also. Um, I don't know. Once a, a month sounds, you know, better. Um, Alicia Cruz 5957 says, I like my medium well and it looks delicious. Thank you, sis. Girl, when I tell y'all, my steak was cooked like perfection for real. Um, Nikki Loves Love says, Happy Sunday. I like my steak well done. It's a lot of y'all well done, okay? Shannon Joseph, hey, sis. She said, I'm ready, yummy. I know that's right, girl. I like my steak medium well too, sis. Yes, sometimes a medium rare. I'm eating garlic butter shrimp scampi with you. Ooh, I know that's good. Ooh. Charlene Morgan 4291 says, Hey, yummy. Hey, sis. User MC1JD3GQ3D says, Hey, that food looks delicious. Thank you so much. Um, Michael Stewart 198 says, The food looks amazing. I like my steak cooked medium yummy okay okay i've heard that quite a few times lily Porter 7100 says happy blessed sunday yummy thank you uh erica adams ud 2qg says hey girl hey hey sis the food looks delicious happy sunday love thank you girl and uh lily Portis 7100 says hey yummy hey sis she was first y'all Thank y'all so much for interacting with the video, y'all. Those breakfast tacos, 10 out of mother flipping 10, okay? 10 out of 10 for the win. <laughs> make sure y'all are following me on Instagram and TikTok. And make sure y'all follow me on the Family Vlog channel, okay? Uh, but if y'all enjoyed this video, please do what? Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, 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 uh, uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.